Are you considering starting a capsule wardrobe, restarting? Have you had a change in jobs, in size, in finances? <laughs> Whatever your reason to finally get your closet in line, you have stopped at the right place. So today I wanted to share with you some 20 important pieces actually <laughs> that I think belong in every woman's capsule wardrobe for the springtime. So I'm gonna share with you a bunch of pieces that I have curated over the years, kind of what to look for in a piece and really what makes them versatile and how these can all mix and match with each other. So I will link anything that I can find below or something similar, but really this is just to give you some ideas about you know things to look out for and how you can see after years of doing this, season after season, year after year, you will have a fully curated closet full of versatile pieces that you can mix and match seamlessly and always look really stylish. Hi there, and welcome to my channel, I'm Liz. So the first item that you should consider adding to your curated closet is a trench coat. And that is because it is a lighter third layer, great for spring. So when you're, you know, you've put away those heavy winter coats, the wool coats, a trench coat is kind of a good go between. So it's still pretty cool, but not cool enough that you need your wool coat so much. So a trench coat is a great option. I would say for your first one, go for a classic. So go for something that is waterproof, you know, maybe in a tan or a black, and that's gonna be pretty versatile to keep you warm enough, also actually work in keeping you drier if it's raining. And then these are really easy to maintain as well. I really like a silk or even a satin trench coat. So those are gonna be even lighter. They really aren't providing any warmth. <laughs> They're more for style. So if you like that long third layer, that is a great option. I will say something that I will advise about, and you know, you do your own research, you choose what's best for you. I had 200% cotton trench coats and I actually put them on consignment because they, they would wrinkle so much. And while I don't mind a wrinkly linen, I pretty much cannot stand anything else to wrinkle. All right, the next piece to consider adding is a white or light colored button down shirt. So these are really versatile. One, you can just tuck it into any trouser. You don't need a blazer to go with it. It instantly dresses you up if you have a last minute interview or an, appoint an appointment that is important to you that you kind of wanna look polished. And at the same time, it can also be dressed down casually. You can wear it over a tank top on a warmer day, even a over a bathing suit so there's a lot of options with a white button down I think it's a really versatile piece it always looks like crisp cool and clean so definitely invest in one they do come in all different price points and they are in different weights. So I have this one from the shirt and I like this one for more business settings because it has the buttons closer together so it doesn't have the gaping issues so if you are looking for a shirt you have that issue i would say this is a great option banana republic does a beautiful tailored shirt you can see this one is folded up because i wear that one a little more casually it's a really nice weight that i find i can wear it just with with jeans or with trousers i really really like this one i'd probably say this is probably the one i wear the most and then I picked this Calvin Klein one up at the at an outlet. So it is a lightweight, it's really long. So this is one I would wear casually. I wouldn't mind tying it up. It's real lightweight. And then a newer one of my edition, I don't even have the tag off, <laughs> is this one from Saison. And it's a real heavy weight white shirt, which I love because it's not see-through. So it's a nice thick 100% cotton and really looking forward to styling that this spring. And if a crisp white tailor shirt isn't exactly for you, maybe go for something in an ivory with a little detail. So this is a beautiful long sleeve button up, silk and lace, or I think crochet detail top I picked up from Saison last year or this year recently. I love it, I've worn it so much already. It's so beautiful and again can be dressed up or down. And then back to Banana Republic, they do really great satin tops. 
Again, this is a great piece that can be dressed up, dressed down. Because of the material, it's real lightweight, real flowy, and you know can look real elevated or real casual very easily. And then the next item I would suggest is a well-fitted or tailored blazer. And I think that every woman should have one. And let me tell you why. They come in a lot of different price points. I have some very high-end ones to ones from Amazon and you know, like Shein. So you can certainly find them anywhere and in different cuts. But you do want one no matter, you know, if you work professionally, if you are retired, if you are a stay-at-home mom, I think that every woman should have at least just one because it can dress up anything. So if you're wearing a white t-shirt and jeans and you throw on a blazer, that's instantly gonna elevate your outfit. Also, maybe if you have some extra weight issues or you wanna wear a certain top, a Throwing a blazer over is going to kind of hide that midsection and give you a faux hourglass shape. So I definitely think it's a must have at least one. I will say you don't have to go for a classic material. I have this lighter kind of stretch with the ruched sleeves. You know, this is from Amazon. I've had this so long, over five years. I don't even know, but this is great to throw on over a dress in the spring and summer. And then you could also go for a sweater type blazer. So oftentimes in the spring, you're gonna wear a sweater anyway, and making it a sweater blazer is instantly gonna elevate the outfit. It looks like you're wearing a blazer, but it's super comfy. So two kind of other out of the box options for a classic blazer. And then of course you can go dressy with some, you know, beautiful button detail or a classic black nicely fitted is really the number one piece that you need because this can, you know, be dressed up or down. The next item I recommend adding to your capsule or curated wardrobe for spring is a lightweight sweater shirt or a lightweight sweater. My favorite is cashmere. I actually have done a couple videos on the cashmere. I have quite a collection. I love it. I love because you can, I really wear it all year round. So it does come in different weights. And so you certainly can wear it all the way into the summer. And then of course layered throughout the winter as well, you know, fall and spring as well. So a cashmere, sweater or a light sweater is a great option. And I think a sweater shirt is lovely in the springtime. And you may see that I have these on different hangers. I actually hang any of my cashmere, silk, anything that needs to be washed differently on a different color hanger in my closet so that I can easily tell that it's different and don't accidentally throw it in the washer because you don't want to do that. There is a way to wash it. I do have a video on it. So this is a cashmere shirt that I've had for quite some time. I really love it. It's a nice lightweight sweater shirt. And then this is a great shirt I actually picked up from Walmart last year. I love it. It's actually a little small on me. So if they bring this back, I'm absolutely buying it. It's free assembly, a size medium. I probably need a large and an extra large. I would definitely get another one of those. And then this is a, another V-neck top with a little bit of a puff sleeve that I picked up from Amazon. But these are great to provide just a little bit of warmth before you're in full blown you know, tank top season. I think they look really classy and you can kind of intermix them with your lightweight sweaters. All right, the next item I like to suggest is a denim jacket. I like to have a medium wash and a dark wash and pretty fitted. So you don't want a hugely oversized, you don't want a distressed, something that is just everyday classic. You know, you can get the fun colors and the distressing if, if you have several, but you know, in curating your closet, I would suggest something that just looks nice that you can wear anywhere. And I really like a denim jacket in the spring because it can, well, it serves as, as a third layer, actually can keep you a little warmer on a windy day or whatnot. But I actually like to dress down dresses with a denim jacket. So if you have a dress that maybe is a little nicer, maybe it kind of can be an evening dress, but you wanna wear it in the day, or if you wanna wear, you know, silk, or a satin or something like that. I find like a denim jacket really makes it more day wearable. So real versatile and a great spring staple. 
The next item to add to your curated closet is gonna be a midi length or maxi length dress. So I love dresses. I have too many to bring <laughs> and show you, but you can look through any of my videos or shorts and I probably wear dresses, I don't know, half the time at least maybe more. I think a dress is a great staple. It is a one and done. It always looks dressy. I mean, sometimes I'll wear a dress somewhere and people are like, oh, it looks so nice. And it's like one thing. <laughs> so it definitely is an elevated everyday look. And I think when you get it in a midi or maxi length, that can just go so many more places because you can make it a little more, you know, boho feeling, you can make it a little more formal. So it can really swing a wide variety. Whereas I would say maybe a knee length or mini is gonna be pretty specific to the event you're going to. So a midi or maxi length dress is a great option. And I am always showing those on my channel. So if you love dresses, then be sure to subscribe because I am always on the hunt for new dresses. Okay, the next item to add is a lightweight, kind of shorter jacket. So this is gonna be something a little more casual, but I find is really great from day to night, goes great with denim, goes great over dresses, and then it offers a little more coverage because I'm a big third layer wearer. So I think a nice kind of cropped jacket is a great spring staple. And a few styles that I would suggest, maybe something that is a little more dressy looking that I think this looks a little bit tweed-like, but it is not tweed. This is actually a top I picked up from Walmart and I love it. This is great over a variety of my outfits and it's a real lightweight, but kind of structured look, a really cute jacket. And then on the other end of the spectrum, this cropped trench coat in linen that I picked up from Banana Republic. So a wide price range, which is something that I do because, you know, you go to different events and I, you know, I look everywhere actually. I am a high end and low end or bargain shopper. I, I actually, let me know if you know anyone else on YouTube who shops at like Walmart, Timu and Amazon, but also Neiman Marcus and Loewe. That's me. So if you like to see everything and you know, high and low and everything in between, I'm kind of everywhere. That is how I've always shopped. I like to kind of see what's out there, you know, and, and look all over the place. And I think that gives me a good idea of like prices and quality and kind of what to expect overall. So I really like doing that. Some other jacket options. I picked up this also linen blend from Zara, which I love in a navy, and it kind of has a fun stripe, so a little bit different. And then a suede jacket. This isn't lined, so it's pretty lightweight, and I love wearing this kind of all year round, really. The next item that you are going to want to have are some high-waisted denim jeans. So whatever cut that you like, if that is a straight leg or a wide leg or a boot cut, that is a great option to have. I think that it is a great, you know, kind of transitional piece before it gets too hot, but still enough to keep you warm. So a good pair of denim is a great option. I actually had done a recent video on, you know, how to hide your tummy. And so in there, I talk a little bit about the importance of denim, but if you look on my channel, I actually buy a lot of denim. <laughs> so if you're ever on the lookout for some, check those videos out. Something else to consider is a wide leg trouser. So I like to have a couple of these in some different materials. So you might want kind of a lightweight, flowy material that is like drapey. I, I love that in the, especially on the hotter days in the spring because kind of the wind blows through there or like a beautiful palazzo pant even. Um, and then one of my favorites in going into summer are some linen pants. So a wide leg trouser and kind of a flowy material I think is a great spring staple. If you're enjoying this list, be sure to give it a like so that YouTube will press it out to more ladies that it could potentially help. And number 10 item that you may wanna add, something I have been loving is a denim skirt or I wouldn't even say denim, denim's my favorite, but even a corduroy skirt, a pleather skirt, leather if you can afford it, <laughs> is a great option in spring. So it's not too cold so that you can wear it just easily and not too hot that it's still wearable. So 
I have been really loving denim skirts this year. I have quite a collection now, and I find it very versatile, very comfortable, very free to wear. And so I think a denim skirt or some kind of longer skirt is a great spring staple. Something that I love and I think is a great spring staple is a duster. So a lightweight duster is you know, more appropriate for the, the spring and going into summertime. So this is when I would maybe pull out a cashmere one or maybe a crocheted one or a linen or light cotton duster. I really love a duster because it, it I think it's slim, I think it's slimming <laughs> and a little dramatic. It's an, one of those pieces again that dresses up any outfit. So you don't want something real bulky. You don't want something thick and you do want something long, just real streamlined to give you that column look just down the center. I think is a great spring closet essential. So this next one can go either way. I actually have both and I do think that they are essentials in dressing up for spring and summer. And that is going to be a ballet flat or a loafer. I have always had loafers, but I think last year I really got into it and really upped my loafer game. So I love the look of loafers with like shorts. I think it kind of gives a coastal vibe. It's almost like a preppy, relaxed vibe and and so i've really been into that and so i did pick up some other loafers and loafer colors recently but a loafer or ballet flat is a wearable shoe that is great for spring and into the summer and a must have really all year round is a skin colored heel or pump so that's gonna be in whatever color is closest to your skin color. And I would suggest a closed toe and open toe because they're, you know, for different events, there are a lot of affordable options now. I prefer kind of a kitten heel or a shorter heel. I find it's just more walkable. And then if I can get it in one of the comfort brands, I certainly will do so because I prioritize comfort right up there with, you know, being stylish. They're both equally important. I really can't I, I'm not gonna wear something that just looks good but is uncomfortable. So certainly having a comfortable shoe is important and I think that should be your base before all the other fun shoes. So for this next one, I have way too many, again, examples to pick out and bring to you, but a classic handbag. So something structured, something that just looks polished. So, you know, nothing with too many different colors or sparkles or sequins or a crazy print even. I would say a classic leather handbag is definitely an essential. There are gonna be times when you need that. So investing in a, you know, good quality leather handbag is I think a great closet staple and they come in all different price ranges nowadays. So you can certainly find something, you know, that suits you, fits your budget as well. And even if you can't go for real leather, I would say there are other, you know, the pleather looks that can certainly get you by for a few years if, you know, you are kind of redoing your whole closet and just want to get something in there. Next items to add to your closet are kind of statement accessories. So not your everyday accessories, but some extras. So one thing that I utilize during the spring is a very lightweight cashmere scarf. So this is really thin. I don't know if you can see through there. And I love this because this can go over a dress, over a tank top. It's not gonna be too warm. It's real lightweight. This is one I picked up from J. Crew. I think that Amazon has some really lightweight ones as well. So a lightweight scarf, even a smaller kind of satin scarf is a beautiful addition in the spring. Another thing you may add is a beautiful statement necklace or a statement earring. I think my big hoops are statement. So that is how I add a little sass to any outfit, but whatever you feel comfortable in doing, something that you're gonna wear and love is what you should add. And don't forget the sunglasses. I think sunglasses are a springtime essential. A great addition to a spring wardrobe is a striped 
top. I love striped tops. I think they add interest. I think it's a classic pattern, not too trendy. I think timeless. And that's what I love adding are timeless pieces to my wardrobe stuff. I don't have to replace year after year. So a striped top is a great choice. Now, if you saw my video on how to hide a tummy, I do not do horizontal stripes because they are widening and I'm not trying to look wider. <laughs> so I opt for a vertical stripe to kind of get the same look, but in a different direction. And I like to, again, curating your wardrobe, you will collect some fun, different, timeless ones. So I actually have this sheer black stripe a top I got from Express probably over 10 years ago, I don't even know. But you know, sheer trend came back in and this is a great top to put over, you know, a tank top in the warmer days or even to look dressy with a camisole under for, you know, kind of a, a business event. Um, and then this is a another stripe top that I got and it has some gold running through it. So kind of, you know, sparkles and just a little unexpected twist on a, you know, a regular striped top. And then of course, I think just your average striped top is a great option. You can see mine are folded. So when I wear them, I kind of just hang them back up if they're clean. A lot of times I will wear these as a third layer or loosely. And so, you know, they don't get dirty real easy. I kind of wash as needed. Something I will say is having smaller stripes is a little more slimming too, as opposed to a thick stripe. So look for a thinner stripe when purchasing your striped shirt. And for my take on the classic striped shirt, I actually picked up one that is in kind of a tan and black. And I like this because it wasn't as contrasting as the black and white. And this is about as thick of a stripe that I would go for. And I still think that this is slimming. And I think because it's not as contrasty, it's not super eye-catching. It just looks like a great timeless and unique piece. The next spring staple to pick up or add if you don't have is a sneaker. And I would say go for a white sneaker. That's classic. I wear those all the time with dresses. So I don't normally wear sneakers a whole lot, but I do find in the spring, I will wear them a, a bit more because they go great again with shorts, they go great with dresses. And so it kind of gives a little bit of a more casual look to an otherwise dressy outfit. Or if you're gonna be doing a lot of walking, obviously they're a lot more comfortable as well. So I, a couple that I have are these Adidas white sneakers that I just picked up on Amazon a couple years ago. I really like them. I like that they kind of have a thinner profile so that, you know, they don't add a whole lot of bulk to, you know, the bottom area. But at the same time, I did recently pick up these Adidas Campus zeros. I don't know what the kids are saying. Actually, all my kids love these and I went to get them some and noticed they were like selling out everywhere. So I picked myself up actually two pair and they're so comfortable. They're actually a throwback, I think from the eighties or nineties. So as soon as I saw them, I was like, yeah, those are cute. I need a pair. So having a pair of comfortable sneakers that go with a lot of outfits is a great addition to your spring wardrobe. And probably my go-to all year round are boots and booties. And how I do this is I usually go for a kitten hill or a low hill. A lot of mine aren't block hill, but you can do a block hill. I am still liking the kitten hill and I do like a pointed toe. Some of mine are rounder because I've had them for quite a while and I'm not getting rid of them. So I do prefer kind of a almond shape or a pointed toe. I think that's elongating. So getting them in classic colors that you know match a lot of the items that you have in your closet is definitely going to elevate an everyday outfit. So I can throw on any of these boots, again, with just some jeans and a white t-shirt, and the whole outfit looks really polished with a perfect purse. The next option that you might want to consider adding that I find I do kind of utilize in the spring, especially if you're going to festivals and you know the park or the beach or the lake or going more outdoorsy things is a larger bag or a tote. So something that you can fit, you know, your sunblock in, your water bottle, maybe an extra shirt, maybe throw your striped shirt in there that you can, you know, take on and off. So I love a tote or larger bag 
for the spring time and even going into the summer just to fit more items in. So, you know, a classic basket bag is beautiful and I think timeless or of course a beautiful leather bag. And if you can't do leather, which they do come in a range, I would say probably one or 200 and then up to thousands of dollars. But there's some really, some really great pleather options as well. I found a really, a few really good ones on Amazon and Timo. So check out my hauls in those. I did some purse reviews and some great options out there. All right, the next thing to consider for spring is a hat, either a wide brimmed hat or a cap, a baseball cap. So I actually have a ton of, you know, ones with things on them from concerts and just whatever, you know, shops that I've, I've been to, but a solid color, you know, that doesn't have much on it. Uh, this one is actually a fancy one, but you can't tell it's understated. So any black, you know, or maybe you do white, maybe you do a light color hat is a great option. And then a sun hat as well is also another great option. This one, I think I picked up from Amazon and I believe it has sun protection. And then for a more kind of structured look, I picked this one up a few years ago from Brixton. It's a California company. And I really like this one because it's adjustable. So I think this is great if you're going around to, you know, festivals, if you do that, you know, the lavender festival, the oil festival, if you do whatever's in your area, something like that. I love doing those kinds of things in the springs and having some sun protection is a great option and it actually adds to an outfit as well. All right, ladies, I hope that you found this helpful. If you did, please consider giving it a like and subscribing, maybe share it with someone that you think it would benefit. I wanted to thank you so much for stopping in and spending some of your time with me. I really do appreciate it. I hope to see you in the next one and I hope that you have a really great day.